Welcome back, fellow explorers of the human body. Today, we have a thrilling topic lined up for you, the miraculous adenosine injection. So, fasten your seatbelts and join me as we embark on an extraordinary journey to uncover the hidden secrets of this fascinating compound. Picture this, you're in a situation where every second counts and someone's life is on the line. Enter adenosine injection, the superhero of emergency medicine, this tiny vial packs a punch, and we're about to reveal its remarkable powers. But before we dive into its superpowers, let's get to know adenosine a bit better. Adenosine is a natural compound found in our bodies. It plays a key role in our cellular energy production, acting as a vital fuel source for our cells to function optimally. Now, here comes the exciting part. When this mighty molecule is extracted and formulated into an injection, it becomes a life-saving elixir. It's primarily used to treat specific heart rhythm abnormalities, like supraventricular tachycardia. But how does it work? Let's find out. Adenosine works its magic by temporarily slowing down the electrical impulses in the heart. Imagine it as a reset button for your heart's rhythm, bringing it back to its natural beat. In this video, we are going to explore the fascinating effects of adenosine in our body. Let's start with pharmacokinetics of adenosine. When adenosine is administered, whether through an injection or other means, it enters the bloodstream and starts its adventure. Once in the bloodstream, adenosine hops on a ride with red blood cells flowing to different parts of the body. This distribution phase is crucial as it determines where the drug will exert its effects. Adenosine has a very short half-life in the blood and is rapidly cleared from plasma. The half-life of adenosine is 0.6 to 10 seconds, so it's really important to administer adenosine in the proper way. The first dose of adenosine should be 6 mg, administered rapidly over 1-3 seconds, followed by a 20 mLNS bolus. It's ideal that adenosine reaches the heart within this time frame to act effectively. As soon as adenosine reaches the blood, it rides on red blood cells and reaches the heart. It acts on receptors in the cardiac of V-node, significantly slowing conduction time. This effect occurs by activation of specific potassium channels, driving potassium outside of cells, and inhibition of calcium influx, disrupting the resting potential of the slow nodal cardiac myocyte. Driving potassium outside of the cell causes hyperpolarization of the resting membrane potential, while slowing calcium influx causes suppression of calcium-dependent action potentials, all requiring a longer time for depolarization to occur and thus slowing down conduction within these cells, which is useful in supraventricular tachycardia. Time for a quick chemistry lesson. Adenosine undergoes metabolism, where enzymes in the liver and other organs break it down into smaller components called metabolites. Through this process, adenosine transforms into inosine, a harmless metabolite. After the drug has completed its mission and served its purpose, it's time for elimination. The kidneys play a crucial role in filtering out the inosine metabolite from the bloodstream, which is then excreted through urine. The pharmacokinetics of adenosine are incredibly important for healthcare professionals. They use this knowledge to determine the right dosage, frequency, and even route of administration for each patient. Whether it's used in emergency rooms to treat heart rhythm abnormalities or in critical care units for other medical conditions, Understanding adenosine's pharmacokinetics ensures optimal patient care. Thank you for joining us on this scientific expedition. Stay curious, keep learning, and explore the wonders of pharmacokinetics and medicine. Until next time, this is a CG Kid Portal signing off.